Arise and shine. I've got a message for all the incredible solo travelers out there, especially the amazing women who are ready to embark on their own adventures. It's time. Arise and shine. This video is not just a story. It's an anthem of empowerment and inspiration. It's more than exploring new places. It's about discovering the power within you. Today, I want to share my journey with you, not as a guide, but as living proof that you too can embrace the solo travel experience. I did get lost. Go, go, map. go, go map. About three years ago, I started solo traveling. Now, the why and the how I started is a story for another video. So, if I was not catching a flight, I was definitely in one corner in this country. It was easy for me to do that because I had a car, so I would just drive God knows where. I also work online, so it was not about, oh, I have to report to work on Monday. That sunrise, so beautiful. That is not to say that I wasn't working. Otherwise, how else would I afford to pay for all these expensive travels? So it just means the fact that I was working in an online space, it allowed me to travel and at the same time work. So it didn't matter where I was. As long as I had my laptop and I had Wi-Fi and electricity, I'm good to go. I have thoroughly enjoyed that balance for a very long time. Like I felt like it was perfect. It was evenly yoked. Now, until recently, when I decided to add another layer, which is content creation, I didn't realize how much work that needs. Like if you ask me, content creation, it should be a full time job by itself. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. I love the community that I am slowly building and I am grateful for the support to those who have shown me immense support. But obviously, Hakwezi Kosawa to Hapanapale that will try to bring you down. They are part of the script. It's part of the journey. I would love to inspire, especially the girl child, even males, that you don't have to wait to have a girlfriend or a boyfriend for you to go somewhere. You don't have to wait for your best friend. You don't have to travel. It doesn't have to be in a group. No. So I would love my story to be an inspiration to someone out there. Even if it's one or two people, it will make me happy. Ready to go. This is among the first, first times when I was driving very long distances. I'm talking eight, nine, ten hours. Prior to my travels, I ensure that the car is in perfect condition. So I take it to servicing. And also sometimes, not even sometimes, all times I have to go and meet with my mechanic and does a thorough checkup, tires, fluids, battery, brakes, lights, air filters if they are been replaced wipers cooling system suspension emergency kit you need to have a spare tire jack jumper cables first aid kit flashlights and basic tools sometimes i hear people say my car has this problem oh i replaced this and it's still not working this and that my car this my car that let me tell you this subaru has served me so well it's been years hygiene letter shida kwa barabara ama anywhere I'm literally beyond impressed and I know I will miss this baby. I'm not gonna lie, I enjoy the long distances but it's exhausting. I'm so tired. Enough of the long drives, let's get to the fun part. I'm the life of the party. Before, when I would go to Mombasa, I wanted to explore literally everything. Now, things have really changed. When I go there, I just want to do absolutely nothing. So, once I finish my work, I just want to find me a favorite nap spot, sip, swim a little bit, lay by the beach or by the pool, and just mingle. I did not manage to get all the clips, but here is a recap of some of the beautiful times i've been in mombasa i hope you can learn one or two or borrow one or two i love long walks by the beach shouting at the phone like a mad woman uh, now i'm enjoying space for <laughs> i would recommend jet skiing for those who love water sport activities i also enjoy the camera rides the only thing is i feel like the distance covered while on this camel it's just too short dining by the beach with that favorite drink i think that is timeless oh you can just visit a historical site like here i went to fort jesus learn about the history it was so amazing i took pictures so many videos but of course sequences take for youtube so they are not in the correct format 
more history this is old town mombasa now again these are places once you visit once i don't think you need to visit again just saying but places like mamba village you can go here again for the sake of eating the crocodile if you want i can't believe i'm saying this but i love crocodile meat this is crocodile mushkaki another option is visit a wild park this is hala park you get to feed the giraffe this i believe is mamba village where you get to carry the python and all that stuff again those are things i've tried to do i don't think i can do them again my adventures never stop in one county or one place this time around i went to tato bay this place i will never forget it gave me one of the best experiences in watamu Good morning from Watamu. Going to have break first. I remember it was off season because I paid about 11,000 a night all inclusive and high season you could pay up to 18, 19, 20, 21,000. Life is good. Acha tu. Acha tu. Life is good. I did not want to leave this place honestly. This place is a perfect example of how I like to spend my time in Mombasa currently. This place has food throughout, drinks throughout. So kazi ni kukula, kukunywa. Kuna breakfast, snack before lunch, lunch, mid, after lunch, snack. Then kuna, eh, yani kila dakika tu kuna food, dessert and drinks throughout. Unlimited. The word is unlimited drinks. On. Shout out to Tato Bay, especially the waiter and waitresses. They are doing an amazing job. Next is snorkeling. I love snorkeling and I would definitely recommend anyone ataka mauju ku swim, try snorkeling. Utakuwa na hizo floater. You learn, you will know, you'll enjoy. Just try. I also enjoyed canoeing here at Mangroves. Now, this place has an amazing sunset view. I couldn't get the videos. I don't know where the videos are. But yeah, just just try and Google Mangroves, kwa canoe, something, something. I will find something for Watamu. It's there. Beside the beautiful sunset, you can also order food or seafood here at this floating restaurant. Take pictures. Amazing. What a beauty, what a beauty, what a beauty, what a beauty, what a beauty. Another one for the historians is Gedi Ruin. I would recommend if you love history. Another place I loved is Leech House. Now, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a restaurant. It's I think it's a floating restaurant and it has this tunety where you sit well watch the sunset it's a restaurant so you can eat it's like a bar vibe you can even swim because it's surrounded by water i can find footages for the yacht cruise yes mombasa has yacht cruise so comment below if you feel like i've left something out or something that you like someone to experience let me know now let's fast forward to the last week i was in mombasa it has been an amazing time here in mombasa but before i tell you that let me bring you back now i would travel like this from county to county one adventure to another and my friends here and there would say hey you went to kisumu all alone yani unge ni beba atakama ni kwa boot or i am in mombasa maybe for the third time and my friend would be like Oh, Aki, imagine this day kwa Mombasa. Oh, and unge ni beba. And I started feeling for them because maybe it's honest and it's genuine. They would love that. Maybe they can't afford it or their budget is too tight or they have a lot on their plate. That is how I started traveling with friends and in a group. And I just enjoyed giving them these experiences because I would pay for them everything, accommodation. None of the people who have traveled with me they slept too everyone will sleep in their room full food fully paid for as in transportation killer kit wow sorted and i enjoyed giving them an experience that they didn't have were it not for you know for me or from the fact that i'm their friend well this obviously does not apply to all my friends some ni mabazu wako sawa wanajiweza but still it feels good to treat your friend or to treat each other back and forth as friends 
notably being kind and nice to people especially that now i'm into content creation and my life is somehow out there has not made this any easier i've been easily misjudged and misinterpreted and it sucks nonetheless like i always say god knows my heart and god knows my truth and guess what the people that really matters to me behind the scenes know me and knows my truth and that's what matters so that's what actually makes me go to bed happy not to mention how blessed i am like baraka mbele nyuma sideways they are just coming from everywhere contract another contract another this another that this has done this this is bringing this and it's just like god thank you thank you and Thank you. That's all I can say. I can only say thank you. Thank you to God. Talking of blessings, I would like to extend my blessings to two of my fans. I want them, two of them to join me in my next adventure. Everything kama kawaida fully paid for. Now all you have to do is tell me any resort gani na shina nikicheza cheza hapo kwa background. Tell me in the comment section and I will pick two people randomly for this experience. Now moving on. Unfortunately this time round I did not want to explore Mombasa and we were all in agreement. I just wanted to chill to relax, to do nothing. So I wanted to go for resorts or villas, the private villas or just nice places that will allow me to sit in, to enjoy and relax. And as always, everyone has their room and their own privacy. And especially me, I need it sometimes because again, I have to pause and work. This is a different place. I believe it was La Mera if I'm not wrong and yeah so my sister would focus on just photo shoot and doing her dances and in one of those photo shoots that she was having my goodness kilimramba i watch this That video went viral on TikTok. We've been here 14 days. And yes, we did have our party days. That's no brainer. We've gone to Atamu, Biani, Nyali. Biani, back to Nyali. Like, it's been crazy. I'm going to eat food. 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 People made friends. And I like the teamwork, cooking when it was necessary, whether it was playing games. Like a boss. Double tap. Yo, mimi na games, bana mna ni apa games za lyrics. My sister na ni kapa hananga nyota ya maji. Hey. Let's go! You ready? Beyond the comfort zones, past the familiar landscapes, lies a rim of beauty, culture, and untold stories. Every destination is a chapter in the book of your life, waiting to be written with moments that will linger in your heart forever. Solo travelers, fear not the uncharted paths, for in solitude, you find the strength you never knew existed. Embrace the uncertainty, suffer the solitude, and let the world mold you into the person you are destined to become. For those who prefer to travel in groups, relish in the laughter and the shared tales. So, pack your curiosity, strap on your courage, and embark on a journey that transcends the boundaries of the ordinary. Bend over, bend over, bend over, bend over. Please subscribe and put that notification button on because I'll be uploading another exciting video. Toodles!